Welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how I achieved these distressed butterfly locks. I've always wanted to achieve this style and I'm so happy that I did. I linked the original video that taught me how to do it down in the description. So I have 27 locks in my hair and for the purpose of the tutorial I will only show you two. Now for the hair I purchased, I purchased the Cuban Twist 24 inch in the color 1b two packs but i only used one and the free trust water wave 22 inches in the color one i used about four to five out of the seven i purchased so to start this tutorial you want to grab one cuban twist hair and split it in half i used one half of the cuban twist hair to do a lock so think of it this way one twisting hair for two locks so you want to make sure that you grab a crochet needle because that is how you achieve this style. You hook it through and then after that you grab that Cuban hair and you put it on your fingers. I like to use my index and middle finger and just hold it this way because it's easier to just hook onto the needle. Once it's on, you want to close that latch and then you want to pull that through. I like to make sure that I hold on to part of the hair so that I can grab the other part and pull that through and it both parts don't go through at the same time. So once that's done, I like to make sure that they're even because at the end of the day, this is the base to your lock. This is that foundation. So you will do the exact same thing with the water wave hair, but before you do that, you wanna make sure that you run your fingers through it because that is what you will be wrapping around that Marley hair. If you do not run your fingers through it, you will be having a hard time running your fingers through it while you are locking your hair. And to make sure that the process runs nice and smooth, make sure that you run your fingers through it. So for the install, it's the exact same way we did previously. Make sure that you put the needle through that part Hook the hair onto the needle, close the latch, and pull it through. Again, I'm holding onto one part of the hair. So when I finally take the crochet needle out, take your time, don't rush the process. You want to use your other hand to just pull it on through. The difference here is that you're actually going to extend that twisting hair all the way down and just keep about four to five inches and attach that to your natural hair. You securing that four to five inches is what's going to keep that twisting hair in place and is what's going to help when it comes to wrapping it around your roots and overall wrapping it around your lock. And before you start wrapping the twisting hair around your hair, make sure that you have all of it, the twisting hair, your natural hair and the Morley hair secure in your hands, nice and taut before you start wrapping. Now you will twist that hair around the base of your lock two to three times. I don't like to do any more because I do not want my hair to be super tight and you shouldn't want super tight locks because you don't want to give yourself a headache. This is the point where I was telling you that it's important to just run your fingers through it so that you're not doing it as you wrap. Literally guys, you want to wrap and go. You don't want to spend 20 years on one lock. But if this is your first time, take your time. This style took me all day, literally like eight hours. But that was because I was, you know, I'm a mom of three and I kept stopping and going. So I honestly just wanted to take my time and make sure that I got this down right. So before I explain the whole butterfly technique, which you see me doing right here, I want to say that it's important that when you are wrapping, you are wrapping close together. So you don't want to leave too much space in between one wrapping section and the next. As you saw right there, that is my natural hair. So if you're leaving a lot of space when you are wrapping around the Marley hair, that natural hair can poke through. And over time, the natural hair can come out of that twisting hair that you're wrapping. So you want to make sure that you're wrapping not too, too tight, but tight enough 
and close enough so that you are tucking that natural hair all within that wrapping hair. I'll let that sit for a minute. So when it comes to this butterfly distressed look, the technique that I'm using is just my thumb. So as you can see, I am wrapping, but after two or three times of wrapping, I am wrapping over my thumb and then pulling it out. So as you can see here, I'm adding my thumb, wrapping it around my thumb, and then pulling my thumb down, and then continuing to wrap, and that is what's creating that butterfly effect. I am going to not only do this once, but I'm going to do this a second time, so you will have plenty of times to see the technique as this tutorial goes forward. But once you reach the end, it's important to just wrap up until you cannot wrap no more and then once you're done I like to just shimmy it in between my fingers just to keep it in place I do not use any glue or any type of adhesive this hair is so good that it doesn't come out so since I am going to be adding more hair to the lock since I'm not done you want to use the exact same technique so you want to make sure that you are adding some of the twisting hair to the bottom of the lock more so because you want to keep it the same size you don't want the top half of your lock to be a certain size and then have it thin all the way out once you start reaching the bottom so back to this butterfly technique as you can see i am wrapping the hair around my thumb and then as i go down i am pulling the thumb out and then i am wrapping it again around my thumb one time, two time, it's basically your preference. You don't have to do it every single time. And then you pull your thumb out when you are ready and continue to wrap. Now, if you can see, part of my locks on the right have that candy cane effect. So you have some of that Marley hair and then some of that twisting hair. For me, this distressed butterfly look, it's whatever you make it, whatever, however you want it to look like. I love having it a mix of both. And this is just my preference for this specific style. If you are moving really fast, you can have some of the Marley hair shown through. If you take your time, you can make sure that you cover up all of the Marley hair underneath. But if you want to have a mix of both, you can. There is no one rule book to having this distressed look. I have some of the locks where the twisting hair covers all of the Marty locks and then I have some where it doesn't, but it's all personal preference. Now, when it comes to the bottom, you can either take all of the hair and continue to wrap it all the way upward and just not cut it, but I decided to try it different ways to see the method that works best for me and the best way that I can just wrap it without it being too complicated. So once you cut a piece of that twisting hair, don't throw it out because you can definitely use it at the end if you want to cover up some of the Marley hair that you missed. For me, I'm just using the rest of the twisting hair and wrapping it upwards. And of course, I'm going to use my fingers to shimmy that up. If you have any Marley hair left over, you can wrap that upward if you choose or you can also cut it. So at the end of the day, again, it is all personal preference to how you want this style to ultimately look like. And after cutting the Marley hair, the hair does not unravel and just come apart. You are wrapping it upward nice and tight and that shimmy just seals it in place, no glue. So I'm going to do this one more time just so that you guys can see. So I am putting the crochet needle through, hooking that Marley hair, closing the latch and pulling it through. And now I am putting my fingers through that hole that was created and making sure that I even out that lock. As you can see, my rubber band is not super tight to my scalp. I prefer it not to be. I don't want a headache or anything. And once I finish running my fingers through the water wave hair, I am putting it through that part just like I did the Marley hair. One thing I love about this style is that 
it can be fixed and I'm gonna tell you how so for instance if you have a lot of the Marley hair sticking out or if you miss the section you can just grab some water wave hair just one in specific run your fingers through it and wrap it around you do not have to take down the entire lock to redo this look that's a no-no no one will be able to tell especially because you already have the distressed look going what I also found was that over time when my natural hair started to poke through one thing I did was grab water wave hair just one and I wrapped it around my natural hair starting from the top of course and I wrapped it tightly and it was good to go like it was brand new like I just did the lock so literally you don't have to worry about doing too much this style is very very low maintenance once you install it and the longer you keep it in the more distressed they look and the more natural they look so it's so funny because when I went to work and I had this style in everyone thought this was my natural hair and it wasn't and then when I took it out everyone was like oh my god you cut your hair and I was like no I didn't cut it <laughs> anyways um so again this is why it's important to run your fingers through that water wave hair so that you're not doing it while you're wrapping you literally just want to wrap and go so other than fixing it and it being a low maintenance hairstyle I love how light these locks are on my hair it's not super heavy yes they're long but they're not heavy number one number two they are very um, what's the word they just free flow so yes they're not heavy and they free flow um, they have that nice movement to them and what I also love is that you can cut them and just shimmy the ends and you have another length so this style is very versatile and even if installing them takes a while it's definitely well worth it and I recommend it to anybody anybody who wants to give their hair a break anybody who has short hair and wants to have their long hair one thing I wouldn't recommend is wetting them more so because if you wet them they will become extra heavy now of course it all depends on your personal preference and how long how much you can take but I never wet them because I knew that once I wet them they will be heavier and although they were light that's not something I wanted to experience so here what I did do was cut the Marley hair and just wrapped the twisting hair all the way to the bottom and then wrapped it up so for this specific lock I did not end up cutting the twisting hair and the Marley hair I just cut the Marley hair and then wrapped the twisting hair on top if I could give you one piece of advice don't cut any of it you can cut the Marley hair if you want but you can just wrap that up your lock and wrap the twisting hair on top of it and you're not cutting and wasting any hair at all so this is the finished look I am super duper happy that I officially am done with this style I kept this style in for about three weeks and I just love how they look so let me just let the music play and have you guys look at the finished look Tell me what you guys think tell me if you're willing to install them tell me if this tutorial was helpful or easy for you and in a second i'm going to show you how i sleep with them oh hey so this is day two i'm about to go to sleep and i just wanted to show you guys how i protect my hair so i have this super extra large long bonnet and once i unclip this this is what we have and I'm glad that I never got rid of this because even though I do have my jumbo sized bonnets, this would definitely come in handy for a style like this where it's long and I don't want to put it up or have it bunched up in my head. So the way I do it is I actually put my hair to the side, right? I'm grabbing as much as I can. Um dunking it in here carefully placing my locks in right swoop it to the back and then 
tuck my ears in and I'm I'm done. And look at my hair. And just in case you wanted double protection so that a bonnet like this doesn't just slip off in the middle of the night, if you have a satin scarf or some type of a scarf, you can just wrap it around the perimeter and that would secure this bonnet in place. So on that note, it's time for me to go to sleep, but I just wanted to show you guys how I sleep with my hair and just keep my locks looking distressed.